the bus with Norm Powell. Normie, my, the, my favorite features of a roller coaster are a huge drop and then the weightlessness. Over the last eight weeks, describe the roller coaster ride that your team's been on in the NBA playoffs. Oh, um, it's been crazy. You know, nail biters, blowouts um, on both sides, good and bad, wins and losses, um, anticipation, excitement, joy. Um, so many words for this moment, man. Really can't, really can't even describe it right now. One of the great things about this team is that you guys took a lot of calculated risks that paid off, whether it was applying a box in one or signing some players right in the last year of their deal or Freddie starting in the second half or woo, oh. you providing huge minutes in the Eastern final or trading away the franchise player or and the coach of the year. Which one of those calculated risks do you think made the most impact to have this moment right now? Um, like we said, man, it's been a grind. It's all about the journey. Um, every single thing that we've done um, prior to this has got us to this moment. Even before our time here, man, the guys who laid the foundation, paved the way for us to get right here, man. We learned through every season, the ups and downs. We stay positive. Masai, a great leader for the organization, made moves that he felt like were necessary for this team. Um, the guys on this team bought in, um, gave praise and thanks to the guys in the past, Damar, Chris Bosh, Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady, um, everybody, man, Del Curry. I mean, the list goes on and on about all the great players who came through here and laid their mark for um, the Toronto Raptors, man, and, and we're celebrating for not only them, but for the city and the country of Canada. Speaking of the country of Canada, 59 different Jurassic Parks were formed during the finals. How aware were you that Jurassic Park right outside of Scotiabank had spread across the country? Hey man, I was very aware of it, man. Um, it just goes to show um, how great our fans are. You know, how bought in they are to this process, to this journey with us. Um, you know, they, they fought with us just like we fought. They grinded with us just the way we grinded through the ups and downs. They stay believing, they stay uh, keeping the faith. And um, it's amazing to just be able to share this moment with them. Did your faith ever waver? My faith never wavers, man. That's what my motto is about, understanding the grind, understanding the process, understanding the work, the, the dedication and commitment it's going to take to achieve your goals, no matter what it is. You know, that's what I just try to preach to the fans, uh, to my teammates, to the kids growing up. You know, um, that it's all possible. There's, all, there's always a way, as long as you're able to focus on that and work for everything you want, man, in any field, man. It's all about that. Normie, as a shooter, that, it was weird. Sometimes in this series, you guys were getting open looks and they just weren't falling. And I know how much you work in the off season. Was there a time where you or one of your teammates like, I'm going to get extra shots up late night just because I need to see the ball go in and, and hopefully that just translates on one of those 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. starts? Yeah, man, um, we was always putting in the extra work, the extra time. Um, to be ready for the games, man. Um, a lot of people don't understand the, the work that we put in, you right. know, and a lot of people don't understand that it's the ebbs and flows of the game. Sometimes you're not going to make those shots, but you got to stay confident because you know that you put the time in, you put the work in for it to turn around. And, you know, as you can tell, Fred's turnaround in the playoffs, through the, all the adverse, everybody was right. counting him out. You've seen his turnaround, man. You've seen how he was able to come up really big for us in these playoffs and the finals. Man, he was killing but um, earlier, prior to that, as you know, everybody was, you know, pretty down on him because he wasn't making no shots. But he stayed confident, he stayed with it, and he delivered. When we get to Nathan Phillips Square, do you want to get on the mic? I'm on mics every day, man. <laughs> Whatever you got job, man. Just let me know. Good today. Just let me know. <laughs> I got this, man. I got this. What is the percentage of chance that you will either bust a little two-step or you will sing? Just, on the just let me know when, and I'm there. Last question. I'll be there. I'll be there. Let me know. Last question. This championship, sorry, this can now experience that championship lifestyle. How long should the party go? The next few days? The next few weeks? All summer long, baby. We NBA champs. That was Norm Powell, NBA champion. And will probably take my, my job at some point.
Back to you guys. Oh, hold on. Oh. Normie, how could you, Normie? How could you do this to me, Normie? After everything we've been through, I did not deserve this, Normie. But I forgot my God. Pay back. Pay back for all the annoying interviews you be doing. <laughs> it all paid off, baby. Oh, my. oh that is a now. rite of passage right there. <laughs> I tell you what, there's a lot of...